here with Derek Treesize of Vegan Muscle and Fitness and Robert Cheek of Vegan Bodybuilding and Fitness. And today we're here to talk about protein. And if you're looking to stay healthy and get fit, what kind of plant-based protein should you use and how do people get started? Basically, where you want to start is food. And we can definitely talk about supplements because there's a lot of great products, but a lot of food people don't realize have protein. There's legumes, which are very high in protein. Whole grains have a good amount of protein. Green vegetables and fruit even have proteins. So if you're getting a lot of whole plant-based foods, you're going to get enough protein if you get enough calories, plain and simple. And Rebecca, as far as protein goes, it's very different for different individuals. If you're very active, you need more protein than someone who's inactive. So we have this idea in general society that protein is something we need to really search for and really look for, and we have to have a lot of it. But the science says that we probably only need maybe 6 to 10% of our calories coming from protein. And that is a very small amount. I mean, protein is involved in a lot of rebuilding and a lot of um, repair and growth in muscle tissue. It does some other things too. But think about the difference between someone who's inactive, who doesn't need to be uh, repairing a lot of torn muscle fibers and damaged muscle fibers from exercise and from use and from stress, versus someone who is lifting heavy weights, boxing, playing football, having a lot of impact on those muscles, clearly that person is going to need more amino acids, more total protein, probably more total calories in order to rebuild, regrow, and repair. That's great information. So if you're looking for more information about getting plant-based sources of protein, check out these guys. They certainly know what they're doing. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it.